Well, it's been a busy week in Lake Wobegon. <laughs> no, maybe Lake Watson Lake, we could say. Um, I didn't really do a lot of thinking about my own God spottings this week, but there have been a few. And what I want to tell you is yesterday, Tim and I practiced, Tim the guitar player and I, you know, Tim and I have been singing together since we were 14. I was 14 and he was 15. Then he dumped me. It was okay. I had another guy in mind before that happened. And then we got together again at, when I was in college. But we have always sung together. And so when I saw Carol Houghton about two weeks ago, I, she always wants me to sing some songs with her. So I always sing some songs. And I said, well, next time I come, I'll make Tim come in with his guitar. And she got very excited. She said, oh, that would be wonderful. So yesterday, I made Tim practice, and we got all the words out, and so we went and sang for Carol. And Carol is 94 years old, and she really, she's in a hospice care. She's under hospice care, and she's, she's pretty uncomfortable, and she's pretty ready to go, because <laughs> in her life right now, the quality is just not that great. And she's one of the biggest promises. You know, she's got um, kind of pneumonia and breathing problems. She's on oxygen. She's coughing all the time. And so when we got there, she got kind of excited, and all of a sudden, had a really bad coughing fit and had to put the, a nebulizer on her for a few minutes. And then I said, Carol, we're going to sing for you, and I know that it's going to make you feel so much better. And she says, I know too. So, so. The nurse actually took off the nebulizer, and then Tim and I started singing. She knew most of the songs we were singing, and she was like directing over there with one hand, <laughs> singing songs with us, and particularly like In the Garden, and Jesus Loves Me, and Amazing Grace. And we sang six, seven songs, and she didn't want us to stop, but the people in the next room over did, <laughs> so, so we had to stop. But that was really a God moment for me, because again, just remembering that music really does bring us closer to God, and that music really does calm our soul, and that music is such a gift. Mine is a little bit of a sad one, but mm -hmm. it is still a God spotting. Um, I have a Weight Watchers group that is all of, it's the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. And we have one girl that is in our group that is, she is kind of the center of the whole group and inspiring all of us, and we just lost her. Oh. Um, and that was very, and we were wondering why she had been gone for, you know, several, you know, two or three weeks now. And the God spotting is, is just how much she touched all of us and how much we all kind of, gathered together in, you know, in her memory this morning even, and just, you know, we all miss her, and she was just a blessing. She was very much, and now she's, I'm sure she's in heaven being the strong, the strong warrior queen that she was, you know, and inspiring people up there too, I'm sure. I know often uh, we talk about the fact that, um, we, we miss them so much, and yet we were so blessed to know them. And that's what we always try to focus on, is that blessing that we had, that we got them for however long it was, and sometimes it might be a really short time at someone's. It should, yeah. So um, Sonia and I have been here in Prescott for four years, and um, not long after we, uh, we moved here, um, Hummingbirds had found a screw underneath our covered porch that leads into our backyard. So, so we've had a, uh, whatever, a clutch every year. The first year, they must have been newlyweds because uh, <laughs> the eggs didn't hatch. They laid two eggs, and we had pictures of, Sonia takes pictures of each one. So the next year, we had two that fledged and took off. Next year, we had one or two eggs. One hatched, the other didn't. And then this year, we had two eggs. They fledged and took off. So that was all exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, we found out that this year, she's come back, and um, there's two more eggs in there. So this is a double. This year is a double oh. um, hatching. So we'll see. 
right now she's uh, been back and forth on the nest. Hummingbirds do not, uh, they don't lay on their eggs all the time. And I'm not sure if one or both of the parents uh, are the ones that sit on the eggs or whatever. So they come and go, and, <laughs> and our door opens up and closes, and, uh, and our dog goes out and all that, and I guess that's all good because um, they're still there. <laughs> Wonderful. How so I think uh, all in all, that is a, uh, for whatever reason, they picked our, our place, and uh, we'll enjoy them each and every day that we get to see them come and go. Keep us posted. And now we're going to want to follow how the hummingbirds are today.